Rosa wrth ymysodiad yma gan Gerdydd. Oakley at Kiho. Kiho mewn ac eriol e yn ôl at Oakley sy'n mewn i'r cwrt Cosby. Y croesiad i mewn ar gol wedi dod a pwy arall ond Eliza Colley. Ac eriol e gan chwreiwyr Gaerdydd ar bas i mewn gan Oakley a pwy ond Eliza Colley. Prif sgoriwr Gaerdydd y tymor yma yn rhwydo unwaith eto. Ti'r canol mae allan yn hawdd. Nôl i'r canol. Gol i'n dod amdani, ond ma yna, ffrwbod yn cwrt chwech, pwy sy'n cyrraedd yna gyntaf. Rhiwsyd ydy Caerdydd yn llwyddo i glirio os â wthiad. Oes ma yna wthiad, ac mi o yna lanast yn y cwrt chwech yn fan yna. Ac mi o yna wthiad yn y diwedd, felly mi fydd i'n gic o'r smotyn. A Rosie Hughes, prif sgoriwr Wrexham, fydd yn cymryd y gic. Hughes? Hughes, lawr y canol a... Mi sefydodd Chamberlain yn mynbell iawn, a hwnna'n hawdd i Hughes. Fion Price, dros y bel. Y bel yna'n uchel i'r cwrt chwech. Y man y gan gymeriad gan y golwr, ac Oakley sy'n rhwydo i Gaerdydd, i fynd â nhw yn ôl ar y blaen. Y gic rydd yna gan Fion Price yn syth i'r cwrt chwech. A'r hian Oakley yno i fanteisio ar gan gymeriad gan Boland. Gwaith da gan Bynnan yn cipio'r bel yn fan yna. Ac yn cael ei chroesiad i'r canol, Kiho. A'r ergyd gan Kiho yn mynd drwy ddwylo'r golwr. Molly Kiho yn y cwrt Cosby i slotio honna tu ar gol. Ac mi ddylsa Charlotte Boland wedi gwneud yn well i'w Wrexham. Cook yn ceisio rheoli, mae'n cael ei phen iddi, ond yn slipio. Eliza Colley, Rhian Oakley, a'r Rhian Oakley yn claddu'r gol yna. Pedwaredd gol gair dydd y pnaw yma, a does bosib bod y triffwynt yn ddiogel bellach ac yn mynd yn ôl i'r brif ddinas. Lily Jones yn ôl i Wrexham. I ffel hi yn cyrraedd Chris Glass, Walklet i gair dydd. Wokle, ti lawr y dde, Fion Price, pwy arall. Fion Price yn llwyddo i gael ei chroesiad, a mae Boland wedi gwneud can gymeriad eto, ac Eliza Colley oedd yno i sgorio i hael hi o'r prynhawn, ac mae Caerdydd wedi mynd ymhellach ar y blaen. Mae nhw bellach wedi sgorio pimp yma yn stadiwm y graig. Price. Yn cael i fel iddi am yr bêl wedi mynd i mewn i gefn y rhwyd am chweched gol i Gaerdydd. Y croesiad gan Preis o'r dde unwaith eto at y pestyn pella yna. Ac Eliza Colley, mae hi wedi cael i hatric am y prawn. Ian, your joint highest win this season, you must be pleased with today's performance and of course the result. Yeah, I think we've been working on a lot of important things over the past few weeks and um, it was good to see them all come into practice today and the girls have been fantastic in training and it's, again, it's more for them, they, they, they're building confidence week by week and I think today you saw that and especially in the second half they were just oozing confidence and we were dominant throughout. And obviously we've got big few games coming up, obviously we've got Aberystwyth away and then we've got Swansea twice in a week so we just got to make sure now, Tuesday, when we train in, go back, fresh start, be focused on these games ahead now. And um, regarding you, you've got a game against Wrexham, and then you've got them in the Welsh Cup final. That must give you confidence going into that final when it comes in May. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, it's great to come away from a win, but football's football at the end of the day. You never know what's going to happen on the day, so it's just important for us to focus on us, use that momentum from these games and go into the next games ahead. For a majority of the game, I think we've we've gave a really good account of ourselves and put Cardiff under a lot of pressure. Um, you know, I think they were probably relieved to go in at two one ahead at half time because we were you know we were putting them under pressure and we had a good few chances first half. I think second half, I think collectively we've made some mistakes and you know ultimately that's that's what has been punished and you know it looks like we've had a bit of a drubbing. Two goals for uh, Rian Oakley, hat trick for Eliza Colley. The two of them can't seem to stop scoring at the moment. Well, that's good and one for Molly as well. I think when you when you front free score, it's always it's always a fantastic thing for the team. But I think the work that goes on behind that to make them goals is is, is what really builds the team. You know, we we got a really good work rate. We seem to take over games in second half, and and that's a testament to the girls' fitness levels and the way they maintain themselves. You know, you've got, for example, Fionn Price, who's 
probably ran about 12k there in the game and she's still sprinting off at the end and getting her assists where it matters so we, it was a collective team performance we had to dig deep it was a very physical game Rexon played really well um, I just think we had that little bit of quality in the end I think we just got to learn from from today, really, and you know each time we've played them, although the scoreline doesn't show it and reflect it, we've got closer. You know, we got closer each time. You know, in terms of obviously being a newly promoted team, we've we've been able to compete with the top two. So you know, there's plenty of positives to take out of the game, and you know we're we're relishing it really. We can't wait to to play them again really and put things right.